Hey guys, Coach here with this week's video. Hey, I want to turn the tables here just a little bit. And I want to make you guys the designers, the landscape designers. I'm gonna be the homeowner. And this is my hypothetical new home. And this is the large backyard area that I want to modify uh, because although I don't mind mowing a little bit of grass, I don't want to mow this much grass. And it is now just the beginning of April and everything is starting to green up. I'm here on the Illinois, Indiana border. I'm in zone six. And we had kind of a light winter. All the snow is gone, but we've been very, very wet lately, very wet. And this lawn, I can't even get out on it with a mower yet. And it probably needs a few more warm-up weeks just to kind of grow a little bit and dry out. Here's some of my wants and needs. And then you guys decide what might work for me and what would not work. And I'll tell you what, I got a budget of $60,000 that I could put towards this. Okay? So you had some, you've got your budget. You've got the, the zone, you've got a few other things. I do want privacy. I really want some privacy. And what you will see here is you have an agricultural field that is farmed every year off there to the right. We have another ranch out back, which can, you, can really, you can really see into. I have my burn pile there, which I would prefer to probably move, but I'll let you be the designer. And we have a small horse ranch on the other side of that rail fence. Now this is over two acres of grass, almost two and a half acres of nothing but grass. And the previous owners told me when we were in escrow, hypothetically, that this would take a 46 inch wide mower, they would be out there for five hours, five hours. So how would you approach this? How would you approach this canvas? Uh, I don't know if I wanna keep the trees or not, I'll let you decide that, but I would like to, I would like to entertain more than just one idea. So think about what you would do and drop it in the comments below. Or email me and let me know, youryardcoach at gmail.com. Either, either way, this might prompt you to look at your own landscape just a little bit through the eyes of a professional landscape designer. Someone who has been in this situation before and knows exactly what, you know, exactly what to do. So how would you approach it? Well. I would think, first of all, you would want to get some measurements. And you've had your sit down with me now, and you've given yourself two weeks to come up with something. And you've been given a budget on which to design around. So think about that. Now, how are you going to navigate this area? Two plus acres is a lot of ground, as you can see. So what are you going to give me? What kind of ideas? I do like sustainable type of landscapes. I would love to see some fruit trees. I would love to see uh, maybe a, a large vegetable garden. Now that I'm retired, I probably have enough time to take care of it. And we can talk later on, if we're really happy with your design, we can talk about the front yard, which has a whole acre of grass as well. But if you look at this, I would not like to always see the tractors and the farm implements driving out there throughout the growing season. I would like to have some privacy. It doesn't have to be a, a, a green wall, but you know, maybe. I don't know that much about plants and trees and stuff, so you're gonna have to kind of tell me. I think in a situation like this, uh, it's really, really good to get something to scale and then move forward from there. I kind of know what I would like to do, 
but that's why I hired you guys. Now, my lawn is, a, is an equal opportunity lawn, as you can see. It's got all kinds of grasses in it. It's got Dallas grass and fescues and bluegrass and other stuff. And I don't really care so much about that. I don't need a, I don't need a purebred lawn. It just doesn't work in this scale out here. But you tell me what you're going to do. And then, once you get it down on paper, explain to me the whys. Why you're suggesting doing this and why this fits or doesn't fit the budget. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, I hope that this kind of gives you an idea of how to look at your landscape if you're considering redoing it. You have a, uh, maybe you have a blank canvas, kind of like what this is, or maybe you don't. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of things that you need to rearrange or take out or demolish and then rethink all together. But this is how you start it. And what I'd like you to do is come back to part two of this, and I'm going to tell you what I would do from a professional designer, okay? Hey, I appreciate you tuning in. This one's a little shorter, but there is a part two, and it'll be coming right on the tail end of this one. So look for it if you don't mind. And if you learned a little something from both this part one and part two, I hope I've earned a subscription from you, and I hope if you have questions that you reach out. You got comments? Reach out. That's what it's all about, learning here. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one, part two. As always, to your landscape success. Talk to you later. Bye.